Kahuna. <laughs> XT60 connectors. These are probably what you're most familiar with if you've been flying quads because most of your batteries, <laughs> like these 1300 4S, come with a XT60 plug. And you can see it says XT60 on there. And XT60s are made by a lot of different companies and they come in different qualities. I've had some where when I go to solder on this, it actually melts the plastic and these things get all lopsided inside there. But someone said if you're going to solder them, just put, put them together like this. Then you can solder this and no matter how hot you get it, it's not gonna warp inside because you got the other piece um, holding it in place. Anyway, a lot of hobby shops sell Deans or I don't know, some other kind of connector, I guess, the Traxxas connector. But these are XT60s. They got the rounded side up here and that way when you put it together, you don't have much of a chance of getting it in backward. Now, I don't think there's any way you can get this in wrong if you tried, but there's XT60. Anyway, a lot of the smaller quadcopters are coming out, and instead of wanting to use these XT60 connectors, people are wanting to use XT30 connectors. And these are <laughs> the same thing, except they're just itty bitty. Let me see if I can get this to focus on here. And maybe, there it is. That's an XT30 connector. And if you compare this connector to the XT60, it just looks like itty itty bitty thing compared to it now the nice thing about these is again they they got the um, one side is kind of uh, rounded off and so when you go to put them together they you can tell pretty easily just by looking at it which side goes where some people said if you put them upside down you can still jam it in there well I'm trying if you if you can I'm sure it takes a lot more force than you're willing to do at the flying field but if you put it in the right way they just slip in there nice and easy like that now a lot of people are starting to get into six cell batteries and this is a Bonka power and this is actually a six cell it probably says it on here I'm just not seeing it six cell battery oh there it is and <laughs> this thing is huge it basically has two three cell batteries inside this thing and it is humongous well if you're going to be using this much voltage and you're actually going to be drawing a lot of current and a lot of amperage out of your battery what kind of size of connector should you be using an xt60 an xt30 no the answer is an xt90 this is an xt90 connector and there you can kind of see it xt90 these come on most six cell batteries and xt90 you'll see it on a lot of six cell on up to about eight cell once you get over eight cell i don't know i think there's an xt120 but i've never seen one of those i don't have really have much use for them but here's a xt90 connector and here's the xt30 connector <laughs> this thing is enormous compared to an XT30. Even if we compare it to the XT60, it is just gin <laughs> ginormous. Okay, so these kind of things like this should be used when you're going to draw more than 90 amps continuously. And the little 90 on here, just like the, like the XT6, XT30, that 90 means it's this thing can safely draw 90 amps continuously and it won't melt away. And the, the, the big killer is not the, the uh, amount of amps you're really drawing or the size of your wire. What really matters the most is heat. You don't want this thing to get so hot that it starts melting because if it melts and shorts out, you're going to have big problems. And that's why you would want to step up from something like an XT60 to an XT90 if you're going to start drawing high amperage um, motors. Now this is going to be fine for most quadcopters. If think if you're running four cell, even five cell, this is probably be fine. And I would, I would even question six cell if it could really handle six cell. I guess it would depend on how heavy of a flyer you are if you have a lot of amps pulling down through this. But if you're going to fly this on something more than four cell or five cell, you should really just fly it around, land it, feel it. If it's not burning your fingers or sticking to your fingers because it's melted, it's probably okay. Here's some different size wires, some 24, 16, and 14. Why do I have these? Because that's what I use most of the time. 24 amp or 24 gauge wire like this is going to be too thick to uh, run inside your uh, XT60 connectors like this. But it's just the right size to run inside your XT30 connectors like this. So if you have small applications where you need something small, you could use something like this. The uh, 16 and the 14, those are both good for about an XT size, XT60 size. If you're gonna be running 10 gauge wire, that's where you're really gonna wanna look at something more like this, just because of the size of the wire, the physical size of the wire will solder into this a lot more easily than it will into 
something like that just because this XT60 is so much smaller. Another purpose people are using these XT60s for is to replace your JST connectors. A lot of smaller batteries like this little 450, this comes with a JST connector like this and here's the uh, other side and they plug together pretty easily and they don't have any um, problem that way but if I try to flip over this one upside down and try to put them together it doesn't go in very easy people say oh you can put these in upside down well <laughs> given enough force you can push anything inside there but this JST connector or this XT30 connector is what people are a lot of people are using to start replacing these JST connectors and if you look at this there's really not that much more plastic on this XT30 connector than there is on the JST connector if a person is really concerned about whether or not they're plugging these in correctly or not, one thing you can do is up here on the negative side, most of the time your negative wires are black, you can take a Sharpie like this and put some uh, black up on this side and on this side. That way when you go to put it together, if you're not putting the two black lines together, you know you're not doing it right. That way you don't have any chance of doing it wrong. But I don't know, I don't know how... I've never tried to plug in my XT60s backward at the flying field, but people say these will plug in backward, but I, I'm not seeing it. But that'll take care of it right there. So here I have all the XT connectors paired together. I'm going to put them on the scale and we'll see how much weight they would add to your quad. The XT30 is going to add about 2 grams to your quad. The XT60s would add about 5.9 grams to your quad. And the XT90, the big disadvantage these have is their weight. But the big advantage is they have a lot of throughput that they can handle. And if you have a big quad, you probably don't care much about weight. But this one weighs in about 14 grams or seven times more than the XT30s. On these smaller size quads, anything from about oh, 200 grams on up to about 400 grams, this is the uh, probably the size that I'd recommend, the XT30s. If you're using something that's like most 250s or 180s uh, quads, you're going to be upper in the 400 to 500 gram range, and I'd recommend these uh, XT60s. Um, now there's, I'm not going to go on here and cut this off and put these XT30s on and cut off my batteries and, for the, and put the other Deans on either just because <laughs> I want all my batteries to be the same so I could use them across all my quads at this point. Here's the XT60 sitting next to the 90 and the 30 and you can just see the physical size difference. Now do I recommend people cut off their Deans and put these XT60s on or 30s or 90s? No. I say whatever came on your batteries or comes on the batteries that you buy most often, make sure your quadcopter uses the same connector. If, you're, if everything comes with XT60, use XT60. If you're getting into six cell batteries and you're getting XT90 connectors like this, which I just still can't get over the size of this thing, uh, buy the XT90 adapters and put them on your quad. But yeah, I'm definitely not saying to cut off your Deans and put these on. Anyway, these are the XT60 connectors. If you have any questions about these, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.